launch a new car, you're always a little bit tense, uh, anxious. Um, but the difference is this year, you know, we I, I know that we have people that can uh, can improve the car to a to a place that I want it to be at. Ladies and gentlemen, the RA 108. This is Honda's Formula One HQ in Brackley, England, where just a few moments ago the team unveiled its new contender, the RA 108. Nick, is this a day for a few nerves as well as excitement? No, it's a, um, a very exciting day, um, but you know, we've got a fantastic team here and uh, they've been working for a, a good couple of weeks uh, on the actual display today. Uh, on top of that, obviously, we've been working on the new car for several months now. We wanted to give Loic and the aerodynamicists as much time as possible to uh, develop the car from last year. And you know, we, we knew we were compressing the build timetable to the absolute minimum, but that was the price of it. And uh, people have worked very hard and they've done an absolutely fantastic job. And yeah, even better news was the reliability of the, uh, the car last week, which is the area which really can suffer badly when you're doing things you know, in a rather compressed time frame was, was very good. So uh, you know, I think the guys have done a super job. Launched the new livery today, but you've already had a, a taster of the car last week in Valencia. How did that go? Well, the last week was, was to shake the car down. It was about doing the first 20 laps to, to feel. The car has uh, good reactions. Uh, it had a, a normal balance, so we're really going for, for, for a speed test, uh, the next test in Barcelona. Last year's car produced a lot of downforce, but in, a, in an unfriendly way, an unusable way. So this year's car is much more focused on uh, producing good levels of downforce, but in a, a, on a very stable platform. And, and now we can sort of set about um, seeing how quick the car is, but um, the, you know, where the car is at the moment is not where it's going to be at the first race. You know, we're going to have improvements before the first race. This is the basic car and we're going to build on it before we get to Melbourne. It's pretty standard now, to be honest, to, uh, to launch a car in an interim spec, because there's quite a gap between when you launch the car in January and when you race it in March. And um, on the normal development cycle of a Formula 1 car, that, that's a couple of months of work that you can do before you have to start racing. So we're majoring on um, reliability work, uh, checking out the systems, getting the team functioning well. And then uh, before Melbourne, we'll have a new aerodynamic package. We've really reinforced our engineering team. And equally, our marketing approach has just evolved a little bit. Last year, we had uh, the My Earth Dream idea. This year, we broadened it out to Earth Dreams, which is looking at the environment in a, a broader sense. For this year, we've already provided money to seven different projects, as diverse as you know, preservation of the marine environment and rainforest, right through to urban regeneration. It's about people using the power of dreams um, to actually do something for the environment. So, you know, what we want to turn is awareness into action.